Hello, I'm Severin Suzuki, speaking for ECO, the Environmental Children's Organization. Coming here today, I have no hidden agenda. I am fighting for my future. I am here to speak for all generations to come. I am here to speak on behalf of the starving children around the world whose cries go unheard. I am here to speak for the countless animals dying across the planet because they have nowhere left to go. We cannot be not heard. I am afraid to go out in the sun now because of the holes in the ozone. I am afraid to breathe the air because I don't know what chemicals are in it. And now we hear about animals and plants going extinct every day, vanishing forever. Did you have to worry about these little things when you were my age? You are mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles. And all of you are somebody's child. I am only a child, yet I know we are all in this together and should act as one single world towards one single goal. Even when we have more than enough, we are afraid to lose some of our wealth. We are afraid to share. Two days ago, here in Brazil, we were shocked when we spent some time with children living on the streets. And this is what one child told us. I wish I was rich. And if I were, I would give all the street children food, clothes, medicine, shelter, and love and affection. If a child on the street who has nothing is willing to share, then why are we who have everything still so greedy? I am only a child, yet I know if all the money spent on war was spent on ending poverty and finding environmental answers, what a wonderful place this earth would be. At school, even in kindergarten, you teach us to behave in the world. Then why do you go out and do the things you tell us not to do? Parents should be able to comfort their children by saying, everything's going to be all right. We are doing the best we can and it's not the end of the world. My father always says, you are what you do, not what you say. You grown-ups say you love us. I challenge you. Please make your actions reflect your words. Thank you for listening.